Just like that one friend on Facebook who keeps shuffling through myriad profile pictures, luxury car companies are always introducing new front grills. Acura, a brand that struggles with identity issues, is the latest to do so. Just as we were starting to get used to its previous design, an inelegant shield most commonly referred to as a beak. The three-row MDX crossover is the first recipient of Acura's new, so-called Diamond Pentagon grille, part of a mid-cycle refresh for 2017. Will the nose job help give Acura more character? We're not so sure, the new front end looks cleaner and less bizarre, sure, but it's also slightly cartoonish and less distinctive than the beak, for whatever that's worth. Final judgment will have to wait until the Diamond Pentagon face makes its way onto other Acuras within the next few years. The Acura's curb weight of 4,222 pounds also deserves plenty of credit for its lively performance. It's several hundred pounds lighter than its closest three-row competitor, the Infiniti QX60, which goes some way toward explaining how the 290 horsepower MDX nips the 295 horsepower Infiniti by more than a second in 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration. The MDX's sprint of 6.0 seconds and its 14.7 second quarter mile time are nearly quick enough to keep up with the field of more powerful and significantly more expensive three-roll luxury SUVs we tested recently, including the Volvo XC90, BMW X5, and Audi Q7. The 9-speed automatic added for 2016 also helps acceleration and fuel economy. The MDX is rated at 26 miles per gallon highway, but we saw 28 miles per gallon during our real-world test run at a steady 75 miles per hour, but brings with it some quirks. It is frequently reluctant to downshift, has a console-mounted push-button shifter that takes some getting used to, and, on advanced models, includes a clunky engine stop start system that's not particularly smooth. It may be a bit unfair to compare the MDX's interior with those of posh European competitors, since the Acura does cost quite a bit less than the Audi and the Volvo. Our fully loaded MDX SHAWD advanced model ran up a bill of $59,340, a significant sum to be sure but considerably less expensive than versions of the Q7 and the XC90, which can easily push past $70,000. Choose fewer option packages and the MDX can be had for less than $50,000, at which point the Acura starts to look like even more of a bargain among its peers. The MDX, like Acura as a whole, continues to occupy a sort of middle ground, a bit below true luxury but certainly above mainstream brands. It also remains competent, practical, and surprisingly light for a seven-passenger crossover, all attributes that make it a smart buy for well-heeled families. Although the MDX's interior is showing its age, Acura hasn't messed with success, whatever you think of the nose job.